Hey, I'm Albo. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream, and so my videos are about my car life in Japan, where I go to car meets and visit shops, do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Hot day. Alright, guys, so today we're gonna Paris. Like this toge where there's no signal, and I'm surprised that such a big, well known tuning company is so far in the middle of nowhere. It's quite beautiful, actually. I, I know you guys have been watching like a time lapse, but let me just show you what it's like here for the next few minutes or so. Really, really tight technical toge. I'm kind of amazed by how they designed like, these roads. It's like, how did they decide where these turns go, where the road goes, how to make it turn here, the angle of it, the width, the radius, the curvature, the engineering of it is just insane. All right, this is really fun. Let's, let's push it just a little bit on these old tires. Bikers and other motorists. Sometimes they drift into your lane. They're pushing it harder than you are, and they might not be as skilled. So you always gotta err on the side of caution. All right, guys, we are just about at Varus. Look how beautiful this area is. This is one of the things about Japan. It's so picturesque. People have this misconception that Japan is very, very, very modern, and Tokyo is definitely that. But people have this image that Japan is Tokyo. No, it's actually mostly like Studio Ghibli. I mean, look at these views. What a ridiculous place to live. It's a little bit too countryside for me. But it is absolutely a beautiful place to live. All right, we are just about at Varus, a couple minutes away. Little Toge, all the way till the very end. Where is this place? Seriously, this location better be correct. I swear to God. There it is. Nice, 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 nice. I guess we can park here. Nice. So we have arrived at Varus. A lot of cool demo cars. Oh, FL5s. Let's go check this out. Very excited. Very, very excited. Okay, so I'm now here at Varus. It is incredibly hot. Japanese summer is no joke. 
I'm meeting up with Yushi. He's gonna be here in a couple minutes. So we're going to wait until Yushi gets here before we check out the demo cars. But since we're here at the customer parking lot, there's a bunch of folks who have also come here and their cars are all kitted out with Vera stuff. Too bad I didn't bring my S2000 because it has a Vera's hood, but let's just see what kind of cars we have over here. So you have this Golf GTI. Looks like a Vera's hood and a Vera's lip. Very, very sick with Ray's G, I think G25 wheels. This Subi, I feel like this generation of Subi is super underrated and as it becomes very affordable, it's gonna become more and more popular. You can see he's also running the very nice Varus hood. And I think maybe in the full front Varus kit. Oh, are you Yushi? Yo, yeah, you can park anywhere, anywhere you want. Right here, right here. Yep, so here's Yushi. And then over here, is this a Supra? A top secret Supra? Maybe? That kid is sick. Very, very cool. Let's go say hi to Yushi over here. How's it going? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty excited. So I was pretty shocked how far into the mountains Varus is. You never been here? I've never been here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. Let's check out the cars. Is that a Supra? That's is what that I was wondering. Is that, is that a top secret Supra? Yeah, it looks like the body kit is. Yeah, very like rare body kit. You never see this, right? Yeah, you hardly see it now, right? Especially with these kind of wheels. This is kind of uh, yeah, very period correct. Yeah, it's like the period like correct. Right? Damn, it's an yeah. automatic. Really cool though. Okay, while we're here, everyone wants to see the demo cars. Well, I really only care about the, the FL5. So let's just check out those FL5s real quick. Dude, it's so nice. When are you buying it? Like now? Honestly? Actually, that... no, you should buy it now because when you order it now, you get it when yes, you get the car. That's yes, right. That's, that's right. right. That's... Okay, maybe we can even get a deal. Maybe I can talk them into giving me yeah, a deal actually, on the lift. Where's Ken? I, I don't know. You needed a front bumper, right? Let's make him buy it. Yeah, let's and just make let's stuff. make everybody buy stuff. Yeah. So now that I see the front lip or the Varus the Varus lip, I want it so bad. Yeah. It looks so good. Oh my god. Yeah. It looks great. Now let's let's see what it looks like in the inside. There we go. Oh god, it looks so I think good. Andrew should buy an FL5? Yes. Yeah, and all this. But is this a customer car or is this a I don't know. It probably isn't because it's got a Oh okay. But I mean You know what to be honest? Yes. Varus makes such a good Evo though, right? It, they do. Like that they this, do. Th this is such a cool like look how aggressive it looks with the canards. Yeah, it looks good. These like canards look amazing. Julian. If you're hearing this, yeah. please buy this. Please do it for us. And I love the Varus hoods. Yeah. Varus makes really nice hoods. They make really nice lips. Yeah. Basically, I love Varus. Me too. I, I feel like Varus is like super under uh, underrated. Really? Do you think so? Is it underrated in like overseas? I think so. Ah, uh, yeah. I see, I see. Not, not many people run Varus stuff. Ah. Honestly, this... This, oh God, and it's red too. It looks so good. Are the wheels the same on both sides this time or is it still the weird double thing? No, it's the same on both sides. Oh, it's perfect. With the hood. So if I remember correctly, the Varus hood is basically a direct swap for the um, yeah. OEM one. In fact, I think this piece is actually the OEM, OEM piece, yeah. but it's carbon. The only thing is the front the hood, it's the shape of it. It's too much like a top wear lid. So if the if the whole thing is carbon, I think it's gonna look a little bit off. But this lip, guys, I think this lip, I might just order this lip because this looks so good. Why don't we order it now? Maybe. So let's see. This has front aero spoiler. What do you think of the bonnet, wing? rear wing? That's that's what that is. Front lip. What do you think of the wing? Okay, let's take a look at the wing. So the wing is, as you guys can see, this is. Similar to the OEM wing shape, I think this shape is actually less aggressive slightly, but it has a winglet over here. So a little bit of an extra, like an extra thing. But the cool thing is it's carbon. Dude, it looks so good. And what about the one beside it? The gray one. I think it's the exact same package, right, isn't it? Yeah, different wheels, different wheel yeah, setup. Yeah, just wheel setup. And... But basically the same. I think it, yeah, it just has the lip, uh, the wing, and the front lip. Yeah. God, I might order that front lip right now. It looks so good. It does look good. It looks super good. I hate to say it, but beside the FL5, 
this generation of the WRX, mm, it looks dated. But at least they... I don't think it's dated. Do you I like it? No, I don't like it, but I don't like it, but it's not dated. Mm. I think it's sort of, you know what I, I don't know what to say, but it's like, I think it looks funny because of the, such a small eye. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. But at least they, they made the the body molding um, colored, body right? colored instead yeah. of like that, that weird yeah. pla bare plastic. So I like that. I also like how they left just the vents over yeah. here uh, exposed. If I were to do it, I would leave only the fin uh, carbon and then the inside that we bought uh, body colored. But that's just my preference. I think these cars are really nice inside as well. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah. I, 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 to be honest, I do feel like Subaru has lost their way a little bit. And I mean, there is no WRX SCI these days. We just have a WRX. So it's kind of sad. I don't know why. Why do but you do think? You like, do you like the dash and stuff? I don't think no, it. I don't. It's I just think a, it's pretty cool. It looks like a Tesla now. It's like just a giant, probably slightly cumbersome to use LED panel. It's actually so, pretty good. Is it? Have you have played with I, it? Yeah, I played with it. But I will buy it. Same. <laughs> That's for sure. So I there's there's the rest of like the little Varus factory. Really? I'm kind of amazed how far this is from the middle. It's in the middle of nowhere and somehow it's like this big company, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot of car companies like that's in the ghettos. Really, that's right? true, yeah, it's like, like- I don't know any many big companies, especially yeah. body kit companies, which um, are big and they're in like middle of town or like- Only Spoon. Yeah, Spoon's one yep. of them. Spoon, yep. like- um, Seeker. Yeah, Seeker. Um, some of the Honda ones, yeah, but like Chase Racing, it's a lot more ghetto than you would expect. When J you find Chase Racing? Yeah. Oh, have, you been to the, have you been to the new workshop though? No, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, that's actually really- We should go. Yes, no, I went in there recently and it's yeah. like, look like bigger That's true, you always go to Kyoto. I should just come with you one time. Yeah, you should. Yeah. That sounds like a brilliant idea. That sounds like a great idea. Let's All right, let's, let's check out this area over here. Yeah. This is so fun, just doing random car stuff. Yeah, this is really cool. God. I, I like, like that wheel bike. On the, on the GR Yaris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is like what Mazda could look like if he was, <laughs> to just keep if it he just sent it. Yeah. yeah. I actually seen this on, to be honest, to be yeah. honest, uh -huh. I like this more than the GR, GR, the GR man. The GR man. Yeah. Yeah, because this is Let's like, just be honest. Like, it, this is actually, you know, yeah. modified. Yeah. Mazda just is just like factory modded, which is cool. Uh, oh, by the way, I ordered those colors, those ones, Ooh, for the you ordered FL5. That, that is such a nice color. That's a really nice oh, car. Oh, sorry. But that's a nice car, color, right? Like, I ordered that. I absolutely love that color. Oh, which that. which car are you going to put it on? If I follow, I ordered I mean, it which, the which, which color? The white one? It's going to look sick with the I know, green white wheels. One, yeah. It's going to look really sick. Yeah, I ordered them and they came like already. Oh, you already have I them. Thought, I thought they're not going to come for like a year. Another, yeah. Another like half a year, but they came. But Nice. Yeah, this but to be honest, this is really cool. This yeah, especially look how wide the front splitter is. It's crazy wide. I'm sorry, Masa, but I have to say, I'll take this car any day over the any... GR. Sorry, Masa. Yeah, this looks sick, though. It does look sick. <laughs> look, at, look at it. Look at it. It looks sick. With real vented fenders. Yeah. Thank you, Varus, for making real vented fenders. As we saw the other day with uh, Veilside with the fake fence. That looks cool. Look at that. Yeah, this the wings so aggressive. The wings even cool. <laughs> super massive diffuser with yeah. the checkerboard, chessboard pattern. Yeah. That's super cool. Like this as well. The yep. wing. The wing stay was just attached to both the the uh, yeah. this part of the trunk and the wing itself. That is cool, right? That's a really cool I detail. I like, should sell it and that's, just buy that's this. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> And this is like a little bit less aggressive version, right? This keeps the original, like yeah. this actually makes a super wide fender, but this is using the original body yeah. with slightly wider, just to fit slightly wider wheels. Okay, that, that's not a fake paint. Oh, it's not? It's not a fake no, 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 I just put my hand in it. <laughs> oh, uh, you can yeah, fist yeah, it, I was you can actually like... fist it. Yep. What about the GR86? I feel like GR86s look super cool. Like this no, generation. No, I like it as well. I'm kind of surprised you don't have one. But to be honest, I like the BRZ because of the wing. Ah, the Swan Neck? Yeah. For me, the BRZ, that's not a BRZ. This is, oh, sorry, is this not a BRZ? Yeah. 
Okay, They're both 86s, yeah. but it, it does have the oh, Subi okay. color. So, so, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so it's okay. Forget which it. color do you like? Which, white. Which? For me, white. I mean, like, blue is kind of like a Subi color. Yeah, so, if I was gonna buy, I'll probably buy the white as well, to be yeah. honest. White looks really good on, your, yeah. on the GRs because of the black and red Which body kit Are they different? Which do you guys think? Which, Let's see. Yeah. Ah, it's similar but a little bit different, right? Yeah, hard to say. That's really But to really be honest, nice. I like this one because yep. it's more clean, right? Because this is more aggressive, but the front, because that this is completely front different, right? But oh, it, yeah, you're right. It's totally different. Yeah, but it's sort of similar, right? Yes, it's, yes, yes. But you can see the whole like front fascia yeah. over here is significantly different. Yeah. I prefer the clean lines of like the original one I think. So yeah, I think I would too. stick with the yeah. with that one. Just my preference. Yeah, me too. Oh, over here, look at this. The uh, the new Z. I feel like this looks great. Actually not that new. Uh-oh, you should my buy. It. <laughs> yeah, she's reacting. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, this looks great, especially with these wheels. Yeah. What wheels are those? I'm not sure. New race wheels. Yeah, those are really nice wheels, actually. Almost look like Advance, but they're not. Yeah, this looks great. I almost feel like it needs a wing, but the ducktail does look quite good. Yeah. Automatic version. All right. All right, what do we got over here? A bunch of random merch. Random Nothing merch. really compelling. I mean, if they if they got some good deals on like a FL5 front lip, I might buy one. Look at look at this uh, yellow. Are these T37s? Interesting. They say raised wheels on them. No, that, those are uh, Graham Wrights. Are they? Yeah. Oh. They are surely the grand rides, not, not the TVs. All right, hoods. Let's take a look. Let's oh, look for a bunch of body kits, a bunch of parts. Yeah. You can just come here and buy them. Oh, this is like what, uh, oh, this is for the new one. Yeah. For an Evo. This is for a Type R. Oh, That's nice. Pretty cool from the demo car yeah. so this is oh, the original no. price three grand oh, no. you buy for half price that's the wing section oh no <laughs> i love the wing section we love wings love carbon wings and carbon splitters what are these front splitters are these wings yeah that's a wing oh they are wings dry carbon wing cool. dude it's so nice so light evo 9 why did we come here? Oh I know. God. Oh, look at this. That's really nice. That is so nice. That's why I like bodies, right? Oh, wow. Look at that dry carbon. What is this for? Oh, it's this is what, um, this is what thing needs. What is this? This is what, um, a GR Yaris. Feel the how light this is. Whoa, dry carbon GR And it's so cheap too. Yeah. Oh, look, it's like a gear car. These prices are great. Look at this. Yeah. 80,000 yen. That's Ken like 550 right bucks. Now, hoods. M3 hood. Is there anything for an S2000? Nope. I, I personally love my Varus hood. I feel like it's the coolest hood for the S2000. Except for, of course, you know, like the real Mugen hood, but still. Yushi, <laughs> what do we find over here? DC2, DC2 front fender. Uh-oh. I feel like you might just need to add it to the collection. Of my junk that I don't need. You know, Japan has something called Refresh Cola. And it's like super strong Pepsi. Whenever I find these, I know they're not the healthiest, but I love these. They really, really hit the spot. Oh, yeah. Ah, got yeah, you issue one too. You ready? Yeah, come bite. Come bite. First cola in two weeks because you're on a diet. How is it? 
it, it's glorious, right? It's so good. It's so good. It's so, it's good. so good. All right, so here is the catalog for the Apple 5 parts. And as you can see, the front lip is quite reasonably priced, actually, about 150,000 yen. So that's probably like 1,200, 1,100 bucks. And this is really cool, too. Like you have the fender or, or, or the, the side skirts, um, which I think is like this part, right? And you can replace that with a carbon version to match that as well. So that's, that's really cool. Yushi, I found the best product here today. Look at this. Whoa. That's a dry carbon tray. I really want this. I, I know. What do you actually use this for though, right? Like, <laughs> so shallow. Just, just put sushi on it or like oh. yakitori. Yakitori? Yeah, perfect. That would be perfect. Strange Japanese bugs. What is that? What is that? What is that? Dude, what is that? If you guys in the comments know what this is, let me know. It's a praying mantis? Grasshopper thing? Cicada? I don't even know. I figured out what it is. Nandake. It's a scyther. Scyther. A scyther. Scyther, oh. Yeah, from Pokemon. First generation. Look at that thing. All right, Yushi's going to go off on this car. Because he's got a, a few things to say about the new Fairlady Z. I mean, this car is sort of like... It's like, yeah, hey man, like, I'll just get this and put body kit on it. Man, put a body kit on a 370, right? Yeah. Oh, did Barrys make this? <laughs> oh no, it's actually probably made by Nissan, right? Thought it's like an aftermarket body kit or something. Let's look at an inside. The inside is basically the same as the previous car. Door oh, look, the door, the see, the door car uh, is the same, exactly the same. Oh, man. Oh, this part's all the same. Oh, my God, that part's the same. But it's a totally new car. Oh, my God, the desk is the same. That part's all the same. And I feel like, look, look, I feel, oh, this feels cheap. I feel like they just molded it. Quality-wise, can we touch it? All right, let's yeah, see. it feels cheap. Like, cheaper than the Z34s. Uh, it looks weird. It's, I feel like they just cheaped out on this material. Here's the thing about yeah. Nissan. Their quality is not that high compared to like Honda or Toyota. My favorite car here is this GR Yaris. It is very cool. It's, it's extremely aggressive. Yeah. Mine this, is obviously the red FL5 up there. Ah, uh, yeah. <sighs> you know what, Alba? Uh, you know, I like this lip. One issue with me. Is that, it? Wait, wait. Is it the sticker? Yes, 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 yes. we're thinking yes. the same thing, like yes. That sticker, uh, right? I wish you can take it off, but it'll be indented, right? The problem is, yeah, there's this indentation for it. Like there's this like res recessed kind of pocket <laughs> where it just so sticker doesn't goes fall on off, it. right? Like, the annoying uh, thing is the FL5 version doesn't have it. Yeah. But I wonder if it's actually like the, probably is in the production, right? Yeah. That's the one. That, that would make me pass, actually. <laughs> of course. Of course, Sushi buys everything. That's a food, dude. Thank you. By the way, thank you for this. That's uh, yeah, awesome. That's super cool. From Suzuka Circuit. Right? Yeah, it's awesome, man. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna get some soba because it's a hot day and what better way to cool down than with some cold soba and some tempura. Let's do it. Let's do All right, let's go. That was super fun. Thank you, Varys, for a great event. And Thank you we'll come back. Right, Yushi just bought two full body kits. Yeah. Evo wagon. Evo wagon, yes. And? The Z. <sighs> I've done it now. Now there's no going back. There's no going back. And wheels as well. Oh. Let's, let's get going. Let's get going before you buy something else. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
fun little toge run. Yep. Now we are here at a soba place called Akiyama. No, I've never been here, but these places are really good all the time. Like these little mm -hmm. hole in the wall pet shops, buckwheat noodles. Here we go. Dude, how's yours? It's good. That looks so good. I just, I love soba, especially on a hot day. Ringing electrician, but it's just too sturdy for me. Mm. This is ringing out now, so it's just too hard. Here we go. Let me see what we're talking That was a super good lunch. The master, the owner was kind of grumpy, so we can get some good shots, but oh well, that's all right. I don't think I'll be coming back here though because that guy was a bit of a dick. <laughs> but look at this view, guys. I'm telling you guys, Japan is just Studio Ghibli in real life. <laughs> Whoa. Weird, weird, scary mystery forest. Yeah. So, so guys, so me and Yushi were talking. Uh, we're just here having a drink, having a, having a sugar-free Red Bull. And so, as you guys know, I basically gone full-time with YouTube. Um, Yushi is super himogen, which means like super, super chilling, just... <laughs> Doing kind of super busy but at the same time just whatever, doing nothing really doing whatever he wants and so we were thinking of like doing some videos where we travel around japan especially exploring like mysterious things so let us know if you're interested in that kind of things there's a couple uh, interesting things for example we were looking at there's this mysterious forest in chiba that's like square shaped where if you go there there's a likelihood you might never come out there is like uh this ufo shaped rock somewhere there's apparently this place where Jesus was buried. We have this idea for, for like this, this concept or format for like this, basically these videos where we just travel around Japan doing car stuff, but also incorporating like interesting mysterious things and maybe some interesting food and stuff as well. So let us know if that's something you'd like to see on this channel. All right guys, so we're back home and we got this big package over here. Let me explain what this is. So as you can see over here, I actually brought up the Simrig because the wife and kid are back home. Actually had this TV and this little TV stand here uh, from before, before we got the TV downstairs. But this is a TV stand because uh, Yushi is actually gonna give me a 65 inch TV. Because long story short, he <laughs> got like a triple 65 inch monitor setup. And apparently his significant other was like, what are you doing? This thing is massive. So anyway, he's just going around trying to get rid of 65 inch TV. So I pick one up and we're gonna be installing it tomorrow and it's gonna be pretty sweet, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be too big for this room, but let's just see. So anyways, we are going to remove this and then we're going to install this and we'll set up the TV tomorrow once it comes in. So now we're gonna leave this until tomorrow and then we're gonna install a TV and it's gonna be great. All right. Next day, so I went ahead and just installed the old TV for now. It looks really, really good. And also yesterday, this came in. So we're gonna be installing this. I need to make a mount for this. So maybe in the next video, this will all be set up. And I uh, don't have the big TV yet, but for now, this is actually really, really good. This is just a 40 inch TV. And this whole setup over here looks pretty good. I especially love this carpet, which I picked up from Ikea the other day. This room is really coming together. Looks really good. So once the sim rig is all set up, hopefully I'll be able to get into some sim racing. Maybe we'll play some GT7 and just basically do Scuba TC2000 until we have completely mastered the track. And that's basically why I built this setup, just to play TC2000. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about Varus and if you like shop business like this. In the future, me and Yushi are actually planning to do like road trips around Japan. So come August and September, things gonna ramp up. You know, this first month being a full-time YouTuber, it's been a bit of a rocky start. Uh, it's been super busy with my newborn who is just, God, Keishin is just the cutest, cutest little button. He's just, he's just adorable. And every day he's just growing up and I'm just really, really 
doing my best to become a good dad and it's it's tough but i'll just take it one day at a time just like these vlogs so thank you guys so much for following my journey uh please consider supporting the patreon and picking up merch because along with you know the ad revenue from these videos this is literally how i make my living now so it's kind of scary it's crazy and hopefully i can make it work out but yeah thank you guys so much for watching for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me for those of you guys who've been watching for a very long time and uh, thank you so much. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace out. This is the sponsor of the channel.